Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushah, Bahashem Rukhapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. Rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutation, and hopeful let God that pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful let God believers and listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into tonight, you know, is dealing with how you know we're being prepared and conditioned. You know, to have a victory over the beast. You know, I uh, this lesson was inspired pretty much by a lesson done by the brothers in Dallas. You know, that was going into how the famine, you know, will cause most people, you know, to buy the need to buy out. You know, that the uncertainty, the uncertainty of not knowing, you know, where their next meal is going to come from is going to cause a lot of people. You know, to bend the knee, you know, those hunger pains, the scrapes, you know, that's going to come, all right, with Jacob's trouble, you know, this, this great transition that Esau is attempting to his new world order is going to come with a lot of uncomforts, man, okay, and that's why now you seeing the believers, right, as believers, we're being conditioned to have a victory over the beast, and it's written, you know, and one thing about it, if it's written, that means that the Lord is going to perform it. You know, if a brother can uh, post it real quick, the book of Revelation chapter 15, I want to say in verse uh, 2 and 3, you know, and just, let's read a victory, you know, over the beast, you know, and expound on it, man. You know, and that's why <clears throat> we're in the time now to fully understand who we're a part of and fully understand what we have to look forward to, you know. Because that's what's going to get us over is the faith that we have and what's to come. <laughs> you see, as the brother put, this brother beyond Yashala, all right, Numbers 22, what is it, 19, it says that the Most High is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man, okay, that he should repent. Has he not said and shall he not do it? Okay, so have he not said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? Okay, and the Lord has already spoken the victory for the elect. My brother can get that. Um, let's get that in uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Okay, and 58 as well. We'll read that as well. You know, then we'll expound on these things, man. All right, this is the book of Revelation, uh, uh, chapter 15, verse 3. Another from the brother beyond Yashallah. It says, and they sing, it says, and they sung the song of Moses, all right, the servant of the Most High, okay, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, all right, Lord, power almighty, and he owed to the word almighty, which is Allah Shadrach, God almighty, which is Allah Shadrach. Which your elder, elder apostle to heart, you know, just went into that, you know, how that word shaja, you know, means devil or demon, you know, you know, Allah means power, okay? Because the Lord is finna terrorize this place, man, all right? Because Esau Edom has watered the most high down so much, you know, that there's no fear for you, how about Shema shot in the earth? And that's another thing, we're finna witness, all right, firsthand. How about Shema Shah be terrible in the earth, man? Okay? He's gonna he's gonna be a real terror, alright, in society, man. It's gonna get real gruesome out here, man. You know, and the Lord's gonna re reintroduce himself to this society as God Almighty or Allah Shaja. Okay, terrible, demon like, devil like power, man. Okay? Hey, the most I'm finna get in that mode through his son Yahweh Shah, through the angels, man. <laughs> okay? The Lord's finna get in that mode. So we have to understand what we're about to witness, man. Okay? Like I say, you know, of course, you know, y'all brothers, y'all sisters watching. Particularly, 
okay but there's a serious overtone to everything we're saying okay there's an extremely serious overtone to everything we saying because of how bad it's finna get in the in, in, in the world man how, how bad we and we're finna witness these things man the scripture says thousands shall fall at thy left and, and ten thousand at thy right so we're finna be in the midst of the lord getting down man okay and the lord's gonna have to put you know a a a a, a, a super like a, you know a, a a super extra spirit on us to be able to bear these things man to be able to laugh at famine okay the lord's gonna have to put an extraordinary spirit on us man all right and we understand these things you know based off faith and this is you know what has us in a mindset of of, uh, 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 of, of, of wanting the lord to bring these things on because we know that these things are written you know so you keep reading and it says just and true are thy ways thou king of saints and see the reason why you know we're going to be content in this time because we understand the judgment like it's going to be gruesome but we see why it's needed okay as we look at the the perverseness that's going on in the earth as we look at the conduct of niggas the nigga woman just you know completely off the chain but niggas and the nigga woman are just completely off the goddamn chain Esau he just up the okay it's a full time drug of wickedness man what you know what this nigga is doing next you see it's a it's a, it's a, full, a full shift you know keep up this nigga wickedness man it's gonna be so gruesome but we're gonna understand like this is just this is a just judgment man people are from the bug out we're being prepared and conditioned these things man it be touch look out you look at society and then you will think of a precept and you see like yeah I see why the lord gonna do it like that now you see why the lord is just gonna turn america to a desert because America is the problem of the earth. You see why the Lord is just finna run through, all right, the, the people of this society, man. Okay? You see why the Lord is finna just have his way out here, man. It's gonna be gruesome, man. All right? Because these people are begging for it, man. So as we're singing, if, if we're that number, we're singing the song of Moses. We're gonna be singing true and just are his ways. You know? Like, this, this, is, gonna, this is justice coming to the earth. You see, to the wicked, this is going to be their worst nightmare, man. But to us, all right, going back to the Lord preparing us, this is going to be justice. This is going to make perfect sense. Okay? This is going to make absolute perfect sense what the Lord, okay, is, 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 is about to bring to the earth, man. Okay? Because we're being, what, prepared to overcome the beast, you know? That's why we, the Lord has us here just marinating in the hatred for, for this beast, man. You know, we're just marinating in the hatred for this beast, man. Okay? So when this place starts to collapse, our joy. And that's going to propel us not to bow the knee. Okay? That's going to put us in the mindset to, for, you know, because some believers are going to have to be martyrs. But see, the Lord is already putting us in his mindset. That's why we constantly go over these things, man. We always go into our what? Will and knowledge should be the stability of our time. You got Israelites that still don't even know what the beast is, man. They know that they're Israelites. Okay? You, you got Jake think the image of the beast is, uh, is Cheshire Borgir. Okay? They still have no clue of what the beast is, what his, what his image is, what the mark is. Here it is. We finna go heads up with this beast system, okay? And Jake don't even fully understand what the what the beast is. And this is those that know that they're Israelites. We know Jake in the world, but even some of them Jakes know more of what the beast is than Jakes that know that they're Israelites, man. You know, because you got these certain leaders, you know, paid off to deceive, man. Okay, those wool, those, those wolves in sheep clothing. Okay, 
you got, you know, IUIC change, they'll break down every week. Okay? The, 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 the image of the beast is Cheshire Ray Borgier. I heard one breakdown that included uh, Rodrigo Borgier, man, within the image. It's it like, God damn. Now Rodriguez, you know, the six, like, you know, how he making it in the breakdown. But this is what you have going on. So if, if you don't even understand what the beast is, how can you be prepared for a victory over it, man? You see? Here it is, you because westernization is part of the image of the beast. Okay, that's a major philosophy that dominates, you know, this western culture is, is, is that westernization, man. Okay? You got Israelites that still prefer western culture over customs of the Bible, man. Okay? Over our, over, over our own customs, man. You see? But we're being prepared to hate westernization. Like, I know, like, especially this year, man, it just... Like I say, as I've been having time to just, you know, ride and think, you know, kind of be in my thoughts, man, and kind of see and, and analyze Western culture, man, it's just, you know, it's just a, a, a deep hatred has been developed, man. You know, and it makes you cold to people that, that think with this Westernized mind, man. It makes you have no sympathy, man. Once you understand the wickedness and the destruction that the westernization has done to us as Israelites, man. You know, and that's a major part of the image of the beast. So why the hell would we take a device, okay, to plug back into a culture that we hate, man? Okay? If a brother can get that, how, you know, the scriptures say that we will love, I mean, uh, 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 they hated their lives unto death, man. But see, it's a build up to that. It didn't just come overnight to the point where you know, we hated this beast system. We just had this intense hatred towards this society, man. We were still healing from this society. We still had things that we struggled with, you know, in this society, man, that we had to get over. Okay? And as we're getting over these things, now we're developing this deep hatred, man. Okay? But it's, 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 a, it's a deep hatred that's developing us, man, to where, you know, we're going to rejoice you know, as this place crumbles, man, even in the straight gate, you know, we're going to be praising Yahweh by Shema Oshai for his prophecy coming to pass, man, even in the straight gate, man, we're going to rejoice, man, you know, the brother can get that in, um, what's that, Psalms 50, I think 58, and, and, you know, 58 and 10, you know, so let's get this, this is 1 Corinthians 15, and 57 is from the brother beyond Yasha Allah. It said, But thanks be to the Most High, which had which it says, which gives us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, so we already have a victory through Yahweh Shah, like this written, you know, like it's written. So it's, it's the, the victory is already sealed when Yahweh Shah said it was finished. He was speaking about, you know, him being that sacrifice and also him having the ability, the authority, all right, to have the victory over this beast in this time, man. When Yahusha said it is finished, okay, he finished everything, man. Okay? He said he he hey everything is finished, man. It just gotta play out. We just waiting waiting on things to play out. And that's what Yahusha meant in, in Revelation 2 and 25, where he said that which you have, hold fast till I come back, man. Because it's talking about the faith. But well, faith in what? Faith in that victory, man. You know? It's going to get bad out here, too. Well, we have to hold on to the narrative that how shots going to overcome all this chaos we see, man. Okay? And put us at peace. That's why one of the titles of Yahweh Shah is what? The Prince of Peace. Okay? The, the Ruler of Peace. Okay, and he's going to establish that peace through war. So we have to hold on to that narrative, man. We have to maintain that narrative that there's a victory. Okay, that there's a victory at the end of this thing, man. No matter what circumstance or situation or scrapes we find ourselves in, we got to have that faith in that victory, man. Okay, 
So understanding what the beast is, the image, the MOTB, okay? Understanding these things, all right, lets us, lets us know what we're up against, all right? But then having the victory already written, we already have a victory over these things, man, okay? There's a victory over this beast system. Esau doesn't win, you know? No matter, you know, because he's going to get to a point to where he's in the process of establishing his NWO, okay? But there's going to be an a, a intervention, man, from Mohai. The spiritual realm is going to intervene, all right, on this, on this uh, uh, devil's plans, okay? So knowing that we have the victory, that's why Apostle Paul says in the very next verse, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? So, Apostle Paul, look, we have the victory. So, knowing this, we should be abounding in the labor and the work of the Lord because it's not in vain. The Yahweh shot coming with their reward. He's finna upgrade brothers to kings in the earth, man, to kings and priests in the earth. That's going to happen. So, as we see prophecy unfolding more and more by the day, we should be more on fire, all right, because we know Yahweh shot coming with their reward. You know, abounding in this thing, man. Okay? We have nothing else. This is all we got. As Israelite men at the bottom of the bottle, this is all we got. Okay? Ain't don't nothing else matter. Everything else is just something to do or a little temporary responsibility that we have at the moment, man. And we handle those things, man. Okay? But to really, the, 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 the get down and gritty, the bulk of our, our energy and our mind should be towards this, man. Okay? This should dominate our thoughts, man. This this ministry, man. Okay? Being abundant in this work, man, with the, with the talent we was given. Every brother according to their portion, man. Okay? But we in the spirit now where everyone should be running on, hey, on, on, on optimal, man. Okay? On fire, man. Hey, you women, hey, you should be on fire to be a wife, man. You know, in righteous, you should be on you should be on fire to be in order. You know? We all, you know, the, the elect men and women and children have a great reward coming, man. Okay? And we should we should be lit. Because we done did it, we done tried the other way. We done went to this scream in the left. Okay? And we still suffer from consequences for decisions that we made outside of this knowledge, man, before we came into the truth, man. That's a constant reminder, like, yeah, this is not the way. Okay? You, you got certain things that's reminders, you know, of that old decision making to show you, like, nah, this ain't the way, man. Okay? Uh, you know, we all had those things, like, damn. You know? If I would have knew. You see? But now, that we have this light, we have this truth, man, and everything, and the perks and promises that come with this truth, man, you know, we should be lit. No one should be more vibrant than us in the earth, man. No one should be more lively than us in the earth, man. Okay? Because these people live in a delusion. Okay? This place is, is this place is, 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 is uh, uh, closing, man. This place is shutting down. Okay? The Lord's finna break this place down for good, man. Okay? And that's part of the patience and what? The, 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 the faith and the patience of the saints. Okay? Let's go from there. Yep. This is Brother Bayon Yasha Allah, Psalm 91 and 5. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror, okay, by night nor for the arrow that flies by day. Because it's going to be all type of things, man. You're going to have, you know, the uh, 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 pestilence. Like, we're going to, it's going to be some real pestilence out here, man. You know? It's really going to be getting down. You know, not this little C19 
you know, with a, with a, with a 97, you know, 99% survival rate. Nah, it's gonna, hey, it's gonna be, something gonna get unleashed, man. It's gonna get, it's gonna catch some bodies, man. You know, it's gonna be something unleashed that's gonna catch bodies out here, man. Okay? You know, we, we, we would not be afraid, you know? Why, man? Because, hey, we're being rooted in trust. And those that trust, the Lord is going to equip us with those extraordinary spirits to endure, man. You know, the Lord's not going to leave us out here, you know, just, you know, terrified to the point we can't function, man. You know, we're going to see some things like the most high finna, you know, we're going to know that, damn, you know, he's going to be in the spirit, you know, but we're going to see some shit like, damn, you know. But we're going to be able to function and maneuver in these times, and we're going to be shielded. You know, we're going to, it's, it, miracles have to happen, man. Okay, for the Lord to fulfill his word of us being able to eat while people are starving and famine, the Lord's going to have to intervene. Okay, for brothers to have the power, you know, to run through troops, the Lord's going to have to intervene, man. Hey, miracles are, are mandatory in this time, man. Okay, that's another lesson, you know, somebody can put that in the comment board after the uh, live stream, man. You know, miracles <laughs> will be mandatory, man. <laughs> okay, but we're being conditioned now to believe in those miracles, man. And we constantly see, you know, small miracles every day, man. You know, we're constantly seeing 144 everywhere, man, because that's the new government that the Lord is, is transitioning into, man. It's that Mount Zion, man, that righteous government of Israel, man. The throne of David is coming back to the earth, man. We how we shot to sit that throne, man. That's why we see that everywhere, man. Why we see different signs and, you know, brothers be teaching that count. They say particular things, the horn go off, man. That's the Lord showing that, look, I, 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 I'm, I'm involved, you know? I'm right here. <laughs> you see? I'm confirming these things, man. So we're in these times, you know? At the end of the day, we're in the time where all, we, all, we, all we're going to be able to do is trust, man. You know? Because there's going to be nothing we're going to be able to do, man. We're finna be outcasts, man. But we already outcasts anyway. You know, we already the black sheep of the families, the black sheep at work, the black sheep of the neighborhood, you know, for the most part. You know, you wise, you know, you got a few people you get along with and you know, people kinda like, you know, have you know, certain people like being around us, man. You know, we got, you know, good relationships, you know, you don't just destroy your, your relationships. Okay, but naturally, you know, we're the black sheep in most situations, man. You know, some brothers more than other. Okay? You know, even some of you sisters, man, that, you know, have been ousted, you know, by the, by the family. You know? Or whatever. But see, they're just preparing us to be an outcast in the society, man. You know? Because the, the, the Esau going to paint the picture like we're the hold up. You know? The people that's not complying... It's not bound to need is the hold up for everyone else getting back to their normalcy, man. And you know how much these, uh, 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 you know, these Babylonians love their normalcy, man, their convenience, okay? When it comes to, uh, when it comes to, um, they love their normalcy, you know, when it comes to, uh, 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 uh their party life. Okay, in America, man. <laughs> you know? Our people love that normalcy, man. Okay? But the Lord is about to break that up. The, the, he's about to use the elites to break that up. And that's going to be the leverage that these elites are going to use, okay, to get, to get Jake, you know, to get the masses, you know, not just Jake, but the masses to bend the knee. Okay, and we seen the prelude to that, man. These people are ready for the taking. The juice was a prelude to how people, you know, are, are, are about to react, you know, to the sea hill. Because see, 
this going to be way worse. See, the demic was just play play. You know, that was just, you know, people, you know, he saw call a few bodies. Okay. But what's to come is going to be way worse, man. You know, what Esau Edom is about to do, <laughs> all right, it's going to be way worse, man. Okay? This man is, 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 is about, okay, to go all out. Because remember, Esau has everything to lose. <laughs> okay? So he's going to come swinging for the fences. And you remember, this man is, is merciless, man. Okay? And he's going to be turned loose. You see, and a lot of people, you know, and that's another thing, like, we know what we're dealing with with these devils, man. You know, that's why brothers, you know, go into, you know, these different, um, these different, um, you know, uh, 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 documentaries or brothers go into different history, constantly going into the wickedness of this devil, man, so we know what we're dealing with, man. Brothers are always going into what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's planning on doing, like constantly going into this man, lifting the skirt up, as the prophecies say, man. So as we as we go into these things, all right, as we constantly go into these things, let's keep that keep in mind who the enemy is, man, and, and how he gets down. Like there's a lot of people, they don't, they, you know, they don't really get how Esau Edom get down, like they. Look at a few TikTok videos, you know. They look at a uh, 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 Karen, you know. They, they see Karen tripping at, at Walgreens, okay. But they really don't understand the 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 uh, uh, you know how wicked and demonic this nigga is that we dealing with, man. <laughs> you see, Jake really, uh, <laughs> Jake really don't get it, okay. Jake really has no clue, all right? But the Lord, you know, he's about to showcase, okay, that he's going to really showcase the wickedness of Esau Edom before he comes back. And a lot of our people are going to be taken with him, man. That's why, you know, King David said what? Uh, 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 protect me from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. You know, because, hey, Esau is, 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 a, is a weaponized nation. And the Lord do that, man. He'll weaponize the whole nation, man, to bring forth particular judgments in the earth. You know, the scripture called what? The Assyrians, his battle axe, man. You know? <laughs> the Lord called the scriptures in, in uh, what's it, Isaiah 10 and 5. Okay, he called the Assyrian his battle axe, man. Okay, and he used it, <laughs> that battle axe, all right, against who? The, 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 the northern kingdom, man. You know, for the, for for their rebellion. You know, so this is you know just understanding you know how the Lord gets down. He'll weaponize a whole nation, man, to prove a point. Okay, <laughs> Esau Edom has been weaponized, man. All right, that's why our scriptures say you know that 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 the, the sword has been sharpened, the sword has been furbished. Okay. <laughs> this the the, the the sword has been 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 furbished, man. Esau Edom, you know, and that's why that movie Oppenheimer, which I say is, you know, <laughs> I give about two stars, okay. But just you know, the main point that we wanted to see is you know, the, the Lord allowed these devils, you know, to tap into, you know, that sword on a whole nother level. You see, it went from, you know, the, the, the physical sword, you know, daggers, bow and arrows. Then they was able to develop, you know, uh, uh, guns, gunpowder guns, and, you know, the cannon. Okay, then missiles. And then they was able to go into quantum physics. Like, the Lord let this nigga go into quantum physics, man. <laughs> you know? This nigga was able to go into uh, quantum physics. Okay, and tap into that sword, man. <laughs> you see? So the the, 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 the the Lord is about to showcase all right uh, 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 Esau's Edom wickedness on a level the earth has never seen because this man has never okay 
had this much technology at his disposal, man. And that's why um, you hear the, the, the WF, they boast on, okay, they boast on being able, okay, to put the world, you know, being able to do more than the heathens that were before them because of what? They got technology. See, they say the ancient empires didn't have this technology, which they're right. You know? These, these ancient empires didn't have the technology that these devils have, man. And the Lord is finna turn this nigga loose, man. So, and this is all part of the Lord's wrath. <laughs> you see, other apostles, the bar always gets into it like the Lord it's going to showcase some power in these last times through the left hand, through Esau, man. You see, and that's why we're constantly going over these things to understand what times we in. That's why these things are repetitive, man. You see, Jake is bored and want to get into gimmicks. You know, Jake want to get into the gimmicks. Jake want to, um, you know, uh, what Jake say, we can't have no fun in the truth. Nigga, do you know what's to come? Okay, nigga, you 43. Why you still when you ain't got down? What the kids do? If you having so much goddamn fun, what the what are the kids doing? You know? Nigga tell me we can't he can't have y'all and like we can't have no fun. Like nigga, we, we this is this is this is the get down. Like everything existence, the rulership of existence is at stake. And the nigga talking about have some goddamn fun, man. Okay, which that's the easiest thing to do in goddamn Babylon is have some fun, man. This whole earth is, a, you know, the Western culture is a big goddamn playground, man. That's one of the main things with Western culture. Everybody's a big goddamn kid. Nobody is, in the, you know, there's not many adults left. Like our grandmothers and, you know, them were like the last adults, you know. Cause even some of our mothers, you look at them the way sometimes they move, you they be like, they move like kids. You go, like, what you doing? You know? Like what <laughs> like what are you doing? You see? Nah man, it's, hey, we're gonna we have a, we have an eternal kingdom that we're gonna be able to have true joy. Cause we hey, we're gonna fun is for children at the playground, man. We're gonna have joy. Okay, a man, all right, at the head of a household, that's gonna be joy. The earth being refreshed, okay, the animals, okay, they can just be. That's gonna be a joy. As a man having power and resources and authority on the house side, that's gonna be a joy. That's gonna, you know, and Howard Shai said at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Okay, I believe that's the last, um, this is Psalm 16 and 7, the last verse in the, in the, in the book of Psalms 16, I want to say. Okay, because we're not living yet, man. Niggas want to, big niggas want to have some fun. We, you know, nigga, we not living. Okay, we, 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 uh, <laughs> I said, the Israelite man, we're at the bottom of the bottom, which, you know, you kind of learn to fall in love with that position when you know what's to come. Okay, but it ain't a time to fun. When you on the come up, you don't have a lot of time for no goddamn fun, man. When you on the come up, okay? We, 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 we're, we're establishing, the Lord is allowing us to establish an empire, man. Okay? <laughs> goddamn. But see, going back, it's a lot of it's a lot of our people with fringes on every goddamn thing that are not being prepared to overcome the beast, man. Because you're gonna have to have that you're gonna have to have that sea hip to have fun soon, man. Okay? Jake talking about some fun. You're gonna have to have that sea hip, okay? You know? So so the Lord Alright is about to showcase a lot of power in the earth, man. But let's get this Psalm 58 and 10. It says, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. Okay? And that's us triumphing over this beast, man. 
Okay, because in the ancient battle, okay, when you would go to war, you had it that those ancient battles when men were going head up with each other. Okay, you know when when men was getting it in. Well, if you survived that battle, you would have to walk through the blood of your enemies, man. You know all those those men dead. Okay, they just been killed in battle. Well, you have to literally walk through the blood of your enemies. So this is showing that this is that scripture in Psalms 15, 10 is, is a victory over this beast, man. Then we're gonna rejoice, man. As men, that's why I say we 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 you know westernization had us in the in the mind of, of, of that baby boy spirit, man. You know, and that's a result, you know, of what being you know, coming, you know, a lot of Israelite men coming from these single mother households that they got that baby boy spirit on them, man. A nigga want to have fun. No, nah, man, we're we're becoming leaders and kings and, 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 and judges, man, and thinking like rulers, man. The enjoyment is winning the war. That's the enjoyment. Okay? But see, it takes... It takes time to develop that mindset going back to the point we're being prepared to have a victory over this beast. You don't just develop a ruling class mentality overnight. And that's another thing I want to touch on, man. It's going to be a lot of people that think they just going to snap into it. Nah, man, this is a mindset that's developed. That's why the Lord said with, with, with great labor have I made that, that cluster perfect. Going to uh, Second Ezra, the... Uh, the uh, 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 the ninth chapter, you know, he's speaking of the elect, referring to the elect as a, as, a, as, a, as that cluster of grapes, you know, that he's kept. But he said, with great labor have I made it perfect. The Lord is laboring on us, man. That's why we, you know, we constantly go through trials. We're constantly put in circumstances. The Lord shows us miracles, man. You know, because the Lord is he's he, he's working on us, man, within this grace period. So if we haven't submitted to Yahweh by Shema Shah and allow him to go to work on us within this grace period, okay, we're not being, you know, we're not being labored on, man. Okay? They're just like, uh, they're just like um, uh, the brother was uh, the brother Ariad Nassai the brother out of Dallas, you know, he was going into a dream that this woman had, and uh, pretty much him and her was walking, it was in the midst of chaos, you know, but they was good, but you had this uh, woman, you know, uh, come begging for help, you know, she was pretty much on her knees, and she stuck her hand out to touch, you know, the brother's foot, and the brothers noticed, noticed that she had them, them nails, you know, them fake nails, them long nails that, that he liked to wear. And the brother asked, like, what, why you, how you still got them? If you, you know, you're doing so bad, how you still got them nails? And she was like, she was trying to keep something to remind her of when she had it good in America, man. And when she said that the brother you know, kicked her, kicked her hand off her foot and kept moving, man. It's gonna be a lot of niggas, okay, that's gonna collapse under this pressure, man. And it's gonna be a lot of nigga women that's gonna be passed over, man. Because one thing about it, I'm gonna say this, you know, to you brothers, man, you know, that's why it's good to have a standard and practice, and practice holding to your standard now as men, okay? Having the ability to do without if you if you if you need to, man. You know? But one thing about it, these women are gonna snap into survival mode, man. And there's gonna be a lot of frauds around and that's gonna be out and about, man. You know, that's why we gotta be keen as men going back to being judges. That's why the Lord is conditioning us to be keen. Brother, if a brother can put that definition for keen up, okay? Which means we got to have a, a skill when it comes to judging situation. Like we got to have a, you know, a, an advanced skill set to judging these situations. And the Lord, you know, He's gonna put that, like I say, that the extraordinary spirit on us, man. Okay, 
but we're being groomed and conditioned now. Okay? Because hey, one thing about it, man, it's going for me personally, man, it's going to be hard to trust a woman that pop up out of nowhere that's in survival mode that don't know what's going on. Because one thing about it, what's going to show, see, you can't fake two or three years. Like, if you just pop up out of nowhere, you can't fake, you know, what brothers and sisters have been, you know, uh, 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 building on for two, three years, four, five years, six, seven years. Like, nah, you ain't going to be able, you, you're going to talk in a whole different lingo. You're going to say something that's going to be way off. You know, they're going to say one thing that's off. You're going to be like, what this bitch talking about? You're like, oh, hell no, you know? Why, man? Because, hey, they ain't, they ain't, you know, they, they haven't been around being prepared, man. And brother's going to, hey, we're going to be picking up on that, man. You see? Because if you've been around, you pretty much know how to, how, you know, how to roll. You know? Like, like, it's certain, you know, teams, after a while, you know, they don't have to, like, it's certain NFL, even when I used to coach Little League, you know, I used to coach the, uh, the five, the five, I used to coach the five through eight year old team, and I used to coach the nine through ten year old. But I would have certain guys that played together since they was uh, since they was five years old, five or six years old. So by the time they was ten, they had developed a chemistry where they ain't, they didn't even have to talk that much. You know, they communicate, but they had so much chemistry to you know where everybody knew what it was. You know, we had, you know, they, they, we had no huddle. By the time they was 10, they were doing no huddle. <laughs> you know, two minute drill, you know, everybody, you know, everybody pretty much knew their assignments, you know, but they come from what? Being around all them practices, okay? All them practices they was at, all them sacrifices they was making year in, all the summers, well, they didn't, you know, a lot of them didn't go on vacation, you know. They stayed and was in practice, man, you know. But guess what? It all paid off eventually, you know, to where they had their chemistry, man. Hey, it was one year where uh, 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 didn't nobody score on them, man. When them, when them Jakes, that was five and six, when they got to nine and ten after playing with each other so long, then nobody scored on them, man. You know, they were tapped in. <laughs> You see? And and, and and that comes from, like I say, them being around. You know, because one thing about it, you can't fake it. You can't fake chemistry, man. And there's going to be a lot of frauds. And like I say, brothers, it's, for me personally, it would be hard for me to trust somebody that just fall out of the sky don't know what's going on. You know? Like, nah, you in survival mode. I, you know, you, you ain't governed by the fear of the Lord. Like, I can't trust you. You know, I, I I don't know how you move. You would do any goddamn thing, man. Because if someone is, is is moving and is not in the fear of your how about she mouth shot, they'll pretty much do any goddamn thing, man. <laughs> you know, that especially in times of survival. You know, in survival mode, man. So we really, you know, gotta have that keen sense of judgment. You know, this the brother. All right, corner walk, GMS pray always. Uh, uh, uh. Hopeful lick, okay. And it says, it says having a fine sharp. This is the definition for keen. Having a fine sharp cutting edge of point, having or marked by intellectual quickness. All right, and acuity, okay. And then you go into the brother. Sons of your the posh, it says kin of a sense highly developed, you know. And our senses of judgment have to be highly developed, but this is why we have this wisdom. If this wisdom is highly developing us, man, you know, to the point to where we're going to see things and we're going to see, you know, our people moving, and it's like, nah, this is, nah, that's awful. You know, nah, we moving on, okay? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> I know you brothers <laughs> ready to get your your grand prize of the <laughs> the one and only Eve and, and Tanisha, okay? I know, 
<laughs> you know? I know brothers ready for their grand prize. All right? Well, I'm just putting the perspective out there. Be mindful, you know, like, shit. You know, I'm in the mindset where, you know, hey, I can go in like this. I don't know how I'm here now, man. You know, the Lord gonna do what he gonna do, though. You know, because if a, if a woman is set up for salvation, you know, the Lord gonna put, you know, with them. Um, they've been around, you know, for two months, for eight years, like the Lord gonna, you know, put the spirit on them, you know, to be, you know, acceptable to a brother, you know? But you sisters that been around, like, you really gonna see, you know, how it pay off in these times, man. You know, cause it's gonna be majority rejection than anything, man, okay? Because, hey, when, when the Lord was crying out, our people despise it, man. They they made mockery, man. You know? So the Lord's finna get ready. He's finna get ready to make mockery, man. Because who you think has the, <laughs> the biggest sense of humor than, than the power that created that <laughs> sense of humor, man? Okay? So it is, hey, we finna see people suffering, man. On a whole nother level. You know? But like I said, you know, these days, that's why, you know, when the elder apostles... You know, they go into doing daily videos, man. That benefits everybody, man. That benefits the brothers that's teaching and it benefits the believers, man. That benefits everybody. You know, daily teaching, everybody benefits off that. You know, it keeps us in the spirit. It keeps us sharp. It keeps you brothers, you know. You sisters, it keeps you sharp, you know. To what's going on, what's happening, you know, understanding. You know, understanding you know what's required of us like constantly going into these things man that benefits everybody you know daily teaching man each brother according to their portion you know because every brother's got you know different portion because hey, a, 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 a 10 minute video is just as powerful as an hour and 30 minute video two hour video man because it's needed <laughs> you see it, it, it's something said in the it, you know it's needed Okay? Yeah, every, everybody got their portion, man, and it's time for, for us all, you know, to maximize our portion, man. And it's easy to get caught up and distracted in this life, man, but, you know, that daily teaching really benefits everybody, man. You know, because the same way we was in the world, we used to wake up and look at the Instagram feed first, the, 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 the uh, uh, Facebook feed first. Okay, you, you, you your eyes just open it. You know, crush still in your eyes, and you know we 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 will be looking at the Facebook feed, and, okay, seeing what what then we got a comment or a goddamn like, you know, and if we were just you know, if, if we were extra lucky, you know, we got a a, a message, goddamn, you know. <laughs> But now it's the same way with the truth, man. You wake up, you know, hey, you, you wake up, you know, there's certain brothers, you know, everybody got their, you know, go-to group of brothers they listen to. They yeah, always listen to different brothers, okay? <laughs> but you wake up, you know, you be hitting them channels, man. As soon as you wake up, you know, you be hitting them channels seeing what's good, man. You know? And then it's a refresher, you know, you see that freshly new, new, video up man you like yeah hell yeah you know start the day off man <laughs> you know that's like hey that's like that coffee man like you know that, that video that, that that spiritual you know breakfast man that spiritual caffeine <laughs> you know it got us on point you see so yeah man i just wanted to go into that man you know i had a pretty little lengthy ride you know, so I said, you know, what else, what else better to do, you know, than to get in the spirit, you know? And that's just, you know, just putting that, putting that out there, man. We're being prepared to have a victory over the beast, man. <laughs> okay? And, and nothing we're doing is in vain. We don't serve the vain power that does things just because, man. Everything has, has a purpose and the intent to it, you know? And we should move with purpose and intent. Because the main thing is that you know, 
about it, that we, you know, that we have the right doctrine. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. You know that we're amongst the men of the Lord. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that Yahweh Shai has the victory, man. We just got to pray to be kept in that mindset, man. You know, we just got to pray to continue to be kept, you know, within that mindset of that victory. You know, hold fast to that. You know, and each and every day, well, well, hey, whatever hey, whatever we want, man, hey, let's, let's grind and get it, man. <laughs> you see, let's grind and get it like everything is right here at our fingertips, man. You know, hey, it just come with discipline, sacrifice, and faith, man. You know, so that was the point. Praise on the glory of two. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. All right.